absolutely embarrassing these leggings are. Not one, but two. I have heard that Lululemon will like stitch your clothes. It's like a lifetime guarantee. So I'm gonna look into that. I might have to bring those in. I'm having such a hard day right now. I literally put some anti-anxiety apothecary supplements, the supplements that I told you guys about in the last vlog, in here already and I'm treating myself to an early poppy because I'm so angry. And it's stupid, but I can't help it. We have had people in the house, construction people in the house, I'm not kidding, nonstop for like the last three months since I burst the pipe then we had to get the pool redone. So they were drilling the pool for like a week and then <laughs> the security system team has been here for a week and a half now, every day. And the dogs hate it, so they bark like crazy. It's just so stupid, but I am so sick of like waking up to 30 people in the house like, and it's loud and I can't get any work done and then cherry on top my neighbor outside is getting construction done they blocked my car in this morning i almost lost it it's fine <laughs> you guys you know what i'm just gonna vent to you for a second it's fine i go work out i'm feeling so much better i come home and i immediately shower and start to get ready to upload because it's already 10 30 almost 11 and it's my uploading time and the security team had to turn off the Wi-Fi. And then when they went to turn the Wi-Fi back on, there was a problem. So we had no Wi-Fi for the last three hours and I couldn't upload. It took everything in me not to scream at the top of my lungs. I need a good morning routine. I'm just one of those people that my morning needs to go well, especially on days where the daylight goes down fast and I'm committing to Vlogmas and I didn't upload until two, which means I haven't even started today's vlog, which is just, <sighs> I am absolutely not in the mood to be vlogging today, but we're doing Vlogmas and we're committing to the whole damn thing. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you already know I slept in a hair oil last night and my hair is feeling fan freaking tastic. Since this is freshly showered hair, I thought today would be a good day to try the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This is supposed to be the key to healthy, shiny, beautiful looking hair. Because I showered forever ago, <laughs> my hair is already dry. So we're just gonna... Okay, then this says to use section your hair and liberally spray each section and comb through it. The craziest thing to me about growing up and learning more about yourself and your personality is figuring out the things that you are and you're not aware that you are. Like for me, when I first dove into the Enneagram test, if you don't know what the Enneagram is, it's a really popular personality test to like help you learn about yourself, help you learn about like people in your close circle, family, friends, spouses, whatever. It's incredible. Highly recommend that you look into that. But I discovered my number and I discovered that I struggle with anger issues. And the second I read that, I was like, no way. I'm like the most peaceful person. I'm actually literally called the peacemaker on the Enneagram. That's my number. <laughs> and then I read about it more and I was like, I totally have an anger problem. I just don't show it. It bottles up, bottles up, bottles up, and then I explode. And I feel near exploding today. Right off the bat, this stuff smells amazing. Love that. My hair is already super straight, so I'm not going to need any like straightening help from this necessarily, but my hair does get frizzy, especially if I don't like fully do my hair. So hopefully this will help with that as well. Combing all of that into my damp hair. Let's blow dryer and see how it looks. I don't know if you can see the shine here, but there's definite shine in the hair. I feel like I notice a big difference with the like no frizz. It's really soft, really smooth. I like it a lot. I definitely will be getting the big bottle, I think. I took a moment and had lunch outside. It is now 3.30. Everyone just left, thank God. And I am going to have part of this cookie. I got a few packages just now, so we're gonna go ahead and do a quick little unboxing, see what we got here. Sweetest greetings from Smart Sweets. This stuff right here 
incredible. Glad it Greens sent me a refill. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I'll add it to my smoothies. I'll just chug it with water before breakfast. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Here's what I'm actually like really excited for. Now, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's so beautiful. Introducing the cocktail collection. We see that you're a fan of the Cosmopolitan since you seem to be someone with elevated tastes. We'd like to share with you our brand new bartender quality ready to serve Kettle One Cosmopolitan. Let's see. Let's see her. Ah, cute. Check this out. This is a pre-made cosmopolitan in a bottle. Look at how beautiful she is. I absolutely love this. It's a pre-mix, fully ready to drink cosmopolitan with Kettle One vodka. All you have to do is like put this in the fridge and serve it chilled that, and it's like ready to go. How cute is that? I also love that the wrapping is pink. It's so fun. Next time I have a girl's night, I'll absolutely be using this. Thank you guys. It's advent calendar time. I completely forgot to do this this morning because I was a hot mess this morning. But let's do the YSL advent calendar. Today is Vlogmas day five. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. This is the Slim Velvet Radical. Look at how beautiful this red lipstick is. Holy shit, I might have to wear that tonight. Very excited for that one. And perfect timing because I am going to an event tonight. Pretty sure it's holiday themed, so a red lip would be perfect. Let's do the FabFitFun box. And I forgot scissors, let me grab scissors. Ooh, uh, this is a palette? This is gorgeous. This is the Laura Geller Party in a Palette, the Social Butterfly Full Face Palette. Look at how gorgeous those colors are. My God, absolutely stunning. We have some shimmery eyeshadows, some more neutral eyeshadows. We have a blush and a highlighter. I am in fact having a second one. I think I have a problem actually. I just had the wildest mental breakdown, a little Vlogmas minty B as we've all seen in past Vlogmases before. I legitimately just spent the last like half an hour debating whether or not I was actually gonna go to this event tonight just because I'm really not in a great mood and that stereotypically means I'm not gonna be that social. But I literally just recorded a podcast yesterday with Karen where I was talking about forcing myself to go to things like this and forcing myself to be out of my comfort zone and forcing myself to do things that are just a little, you know, uncomfortable sometimes. And not that this is uncomfortable, this is actually just gonna be super chill, very fun, easy cocktail party. But when you're not in the mood to be social, Sometimes it takes a lot out of you. So I genuinely was like, Ugh, I don't know if I wanna go. I don't want to have to like force a like happy face and like be super talkative and I'm just not feeling it. But also sometimes life requires you to suit up and do the things that you don't necessarily wanna do. So we're gonna do that. Tonight's event is for Claudia Sluski's brand, Cyclar. It's like a little like happy launch party and it is cocktail cute is what she said. Do I know what I'm gonna wear? No. I'm just gonna let this uh, primer marinate for a second. My mom is currently here helping Alicia with some stuff, helping with the security camera team fiasco that's been going on here. Alicia is at a shoot today, but after all the guys left, my mom and I went for a nice walk to go get a coffee and it was honestly life-giving. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to wear. Um, I think for some reason in the back of my head, I thought it was like a holiday event and then I just <laughs> double checked the invite and it definitely does not say that which is good because i actually don't have too many holiday options you want to be very careful with your holiday outfits that you do have because you can't really rewear them especially to a, a, events like actual events because people notice but again the invite says cocktail so it's definitely a heel and i'm thinking either a skirt maybe some slacks or something like that, but I'm, I'm definitely thinking skirt. God, I love this blush. I love this blush. It's perfect. I saw a TikTok earlier yesterday, I believe, of this girl 
being invited to a party and them saying what time and her saying, oh, I don't do nights. And in the like text, it said for my girlies that have a strict 9 p.m. bedtime routine and I've never related to anything more. And I was really thinking I should film that tonight since I'll be like ready and stuff. I'm gonna try to do the most delicate wing right here. Wow, I'm so impressed. It definitely won't happen the second time around. Not great, not horrible, but not great. Could be worse though. I should have done a better like ring light situation for you guys. You could actually see my makeup. I feel like my face just kind of looks blown out. <laughs> Going in with my 24 hour brow setter. Posing for possible thumbnail. Mm-hmm. All right, let's figure out what we're wearing. Well, my room is an actual disaster, but we got dressed. So I'm running late, but just to keep me on my toes, we're gonna try a red lip. I don't do red lips often, so wish me luck. This is a Makeup Forever lip liner, and this is in the color full red. It definitely looks a little more pink than full red, uh, but that's okay, it's going underneath. This is a Gucci Beauty beautiful red lipstick in the color 403, I guess. There's the red. There she is. Hopefully the red lip stays. This might have been a huge mistake. I also already have red all over my fingers. It's kind of hard to see, but here is my entire fit. This skirt is Opali. It's a black leather skirt with a little slit in the back. These shoes are from Ray Revolve and this sweater is from Lovers and Friends, I believe. It's this really cute turtleneck, but it's open on the sides, which is really fun. Um, and then I'm wearing my little, my little Chanel bag. Okay, yay, here we go. got back from the event. I was almost 11. I ended up staying a lot longer than I thought. TK ended up coming, so it was really nice having her there. I am so happy for Claudia and Cyclar at such an exciting time. I, however, am just on a struggle bus today. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it was because I had a tough day here, if it's because I was so tired, but I feel like I have never been hit with so much social anxiety in my life, which I guess it makes sense since I had a pretty tough day today for whatever reason, just being like thrown off by the workers and the no Wi-Fi. just really, I don't, I don't know why it affected me so much. Everyone I talked to at the event was so nice. And for whatever reason, everything I said, the second I said it, I would just like immediately start just tearing myself up in my thoughts about like what I said. And then I'd get so wrapped up in what I said that I would lose track of the conversation. And then it would be hard for me to keep track with what we were saying. And then in my head, things felt really awkward and it probably wasn't that big of a deal, but. I realize I'm a shy person, but it felt a little extra today. That sucked. It's just tough when it feels like you just can't do or say the right thing. And again, this is not anyone. This is literally me at myself. It was a tough day for me. I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so stupid. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. If you made it this far, then you really are like one of the realest people on the planet. I hope you have a great day. I hope I have a better day. <laughs> okay, bye.